What's the second most important question to ask in a relationship? Well, I've probably already alluded to it in the first question, and that is, do I really want to love in a pure way? So if, if, if I don't have God involved in my life, do I really want to love my partner in a pure way? Now, I would suggest that many people in a relationship don't want to love their partners in a pure way already. If I have God in my life, that question becomes, do I want to love the way God loves? Do I want to? How, how much do I want to? Is it the first thing in my life or is it just like, oh, yeah, I give it lip service, give it, you know, it's just say, oh, yeah, I want to become like God. But there's no intention with inside of me to love in a pure way or the way God loves. Now, if we don't really want to love the way God loves, we're never going to ask ourselves the first question, and that is, what would God's love do? Mm -hmm. Or if we we're an atheist or someone asking the question, it would be, what would a pure love do? Mm -hmm. We're never going to ask ourselves that question if we don't want to love. So, and, and there are so many reasons today why people don't want to love. Many people think that love is weak, love is stupid, that love has no benefits. That exposes us to being hurt. It exposes us to ridicule, exposes us to harm. It, it makes you gentle and soft, which is weakness. And all of these other things that they have, they feel, they feel they'd rather rebel and get angry and bitter and all of these other things. that They feel they'd rather do those things because they're scared of opening their heart. There's so many people who are just in rebellion to opening their heart. They don't want to open their heart because they might get hurt. Mm. These are all reasons why we don't want to love. And, and unless we're willing to ask ourselves in the relationship, do I really want to love here? Do I really want to? Or what are my real feelings? So what are my real feelings? And, and the majority of times I feel a lot of people would answer, actually, I don't know if I really want to love. You know, I, I can remember having conversations with different people about this, you know, where a person would come up to me and say, look, my husband does this and does that and, and does these things. And what do you think I should do? Now, the answer they're really fishing for is leave him and find another husband. That's really the answer they're fishing for because that's not the answer I give them generally. Which The answer I give them generally is what do you do to love your husband? Do you tell him the truth? And, and quite often they go, well, no, I ask you about my husband. And I go, well, he's not here. Mm. You're here. And, and to me, the question needs to be self-focused. Like, what are you doing to bring your life in harmony with love? And oftentimes they walk away disgusted with the conversation mm -hmm. because they don't really want to know how to love. They really want to know how to leave. Mm. <laughs> they really want to know how to leave and get away with it. Yeah. And that's really what they want to know, not how to love. And <clears throat> I find that tragic. Mm. They're looking for a way to justify the leaving by yes. asking you. Yes. And that's also a part of wanting to remove themselves from personal responsibility for totally. the decision. Totally. Which love would not do. Yeah. If they really wanted to love, they'd never try to place responsibility for their choices and decisions on another person, including Jesus. Mm -hmm. so, so the issue is often that they don't want to love. So I feel the second question each of us in a relationship needs to ask is, do you really want to love in a pure way? Do you really want to love the way God loves? Do you really want to learn the way God loves and copy it? Do you want to do that? Or are you just giving all of that lip service and making out and faking, trying to fake it because that's what I observe the majority of people in relationships doing. They're trying to fake this desire. They have no real desire to love. They have a desire to have a codependent, addictive relationship and that's not love. And it's never going to result in pleasure. It's always going to result in pain and suffering. So the, the second important question is, do I want to love? Now, before we talk about the emotional injuries you have towards loving and the emotional injuries your partner has towards loving and discovering what you know, the truth is about why you find love difficult and why your partner finds love difficult and just talking about why you find it hard to open your heart and why your partner is doing this and that, talking about sexual issues and all these other things, you've got to ask the question first, do you really want to love? Because if you don't really want to love, Dealing with all of the, it's pointless even having discussion about all of those other questions B because you're not going to sincerely 
want to love. You're not going to want to sincerely deal with all of those other questions even if we raise them. So it's like a waste of time. We need to, you need to know how much you want to love if you truly want to sort out any relationship and have a happy relationship. Mm -hmm. So I feel that's a key part of any decision that a person must make. Ask themselves, what does love do? But secondly, you've got to ask yourself, do I really want to do what love would do? <laughs> or yeah. do I just want to do some other things, you know, that are quite damaging and quite you know, unloving? What, what do I really want? And be honest about it. Because you can't have a relationship with God or your partner if you can't be honest about that. Yeah.